Hi guys, how you doing? Dave here. I love French toast and I decided to do up this banana foster French toast. Did the normal French toast with a splash of this and a splash of that, covered with the delicious bananas and this topping that's to die for. You're going to love it, the whole family's going to love it, so let me walk you through this and let's get started. Okay guys, to kick things off here, I'm going to make the batter for the French toast. Beginning with half a cup of milk. Now you can use heavy cream, but I'm just using 2% milk. Two eggs. A few drops of vanilla extract. Now I just kind of eyeball this. But I'd say this is probably like a quarter of a teaspoon, something like that. A pinch of cinnamon, a spice I really love and a pinch of allspice. Now this is totally optional. You can use nutmeg or you can simply leave it out. But it smells so good. Last and not least, a pinch of salt just to bring out those flavors. Now I'm going to take my handy dandy whisk and mix this up until everything is nicely combined. Nothing better than French toast on a Saturday or Sunday morning with sausage a bit of bacon, just so yummy. Next up, I'm going to pour my mixture into one of my baking pans. And believe me, this smells good. Put the bread in, and we're going to let this soak for about two or three minutes on each side. That's part of the problem with French toast. A lot of people don't let it soak. Get this moved around here a little bit. After about two and a half minutes, guys, I'm going to take my flipper and flip these over to the other side and allow them to soak for another two and a half minutes. Next up, I've got my handy dandy griddle here and I'm going to put a good knob of butter in. And this is heated to about 350. You can also do this in a pan if you like. I just like the griddle. You can spread it out a bit more. Followed by some oil. And this is just olive oil which kind of keeps the butter from burning. And I'm just going to give this a good spread around. Now I'm going to take my French toast slices and put them on the griddle. Again, we're going to cook these for about two and a half minutes on each side and then give them a flip. After about three to four minutes on each side, we're going to remove them from the pan and just look at that, guys. Just looks and smells incredible. Okay, let's start making that delicious topping with four tablespoons of butter, and this is unsalted butter, about 53 grams or so. After that, a quarter cup of light brown sugar. And I'm going to mix this up and just let them melt in together. Now I'm going to put my bananas in, and these are a fairly firm ripe banana. You don't want them too soft or they're just going to smush together. And we're just going to let it cook for a minute or so on one side and then flip it to the other side. And you want this over medium low heat, otherwise it's going to burn and that's something you don't want. Once the banana is heated through and is covered with the caramel, you're good to go. And we're going to go ahead and spoon that delicious goodness over the French toast. Then we're going to drizzle some of that delicious topping over the top. Believe me, this looks and smells so good. Now this banana foster French toast is very unique. And you know, sometimes people believe, will even put some booze in there, but I'm not going to do that. That's going to a little bit extreme, but if you want to do that, shh, I won't tell. Okay, let's dig into this and see what we've got. Mmm, this is so good guys. The spices, the banana, the topping, just incredible. Don't even need maple syrup. Mmm, 
just love this. I'm going to eat more. For this recipe, pop on over to cookandshare.com. All kinds of good stuff over there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. And see you next time.